family and friends, the procession has arise, arrived. Please rise.
Good morning, and welcome to Concordia University of Edmonton's 2023 Convocation. This is our first Convocation ceremony today, and is to celebrate those who are graduating from the Faculty of Education and the Faculty of Science. My name is Dr. Carmen Arth, Vice President, Campus Life. It is my pleasure to welcome you to this morning's ceremony. We also welcome those who are joining us online. I would like to recognize that Concordia University of Edmonton and the Edmonton Expo Center are located on territory of the Treaty Six Nations and the homeland of the Métis Nation, Region 4. We are grateful for the agreements made between our ancestors and the So Tu, Nakota Sioux, Cree, Dene, Blackfoot, and Métis Nations that allow us to celebrate our graduates here today. We are all treaty people and that requires constant reflection, knowledge and truth-seeking, respect and reciprocity. I encourage you all to explore your role 
in the treaty relationship and find ways to contribute to truth, healing, and reconciliation in your communities. We will begin our celebration with a national anthem led by a duet which includes one of today's graduates and a current Q student, Abby Mandola and Grace Samasia. Please rise and join us in the singing of O Canada. Please remove your hats. to invite our President and Vice Chancellor, Dr. Tim Lorman, to come forward for the invocation. Let us begin the celebration today with a few moments of reflection on the good things that have made this day possible and that have given us the ability to achieve the graduation we celebrate today on this land. We've built a community of scholars, a community in which hard work and dedication to your studies have, gi have given you knowledge and wisdom. We've been gifted with family, friends, mentors, faculty, and staff, who during the years of our studies have given us encouragement and support in and out of the classroom. Let us be mindful that the learning symbolised in the degrees, diplomas and certificates granted today is a worthy end and reflects your commitment and dedication to shaping the world to become your legacy. Your degrees, diplomas and certificates have given you the opportunity to use your eyes to see the needs of others, your ears to be discerning and your tongues to speak only the truth. We can all rightly bask in the joy of this day, and may the sincere dedication and patient perseverance that has brought us to this moment carry us forward to create a world marked by peace, justice, and compassion. Tradition has it that the stage party, as well as female graduates and female faculty, Member, members may wear their caps throughout the ceremony. Tradition also has it that male graduates and male faculty members are asked to remove their caps when they are sitting and replace them when standing. It is now my pleasure to invite our Chancellor, Mr. Stephen Mandel, to come forward for the welcome. Welcome, everyone. 
on behalf of the entire university community, I am honored to welcome you to all this, convo to this convocation, which we celebrate in Concordia's 102nd year in operation. Convocation is a time of great joy and thanksgiving. We are glad so many friends and family members could join us as we celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates. This is a day you will long remember. The road traveled has been different for each of you. You have been exposed to classmates from around the world. You have learned to value each other and work together to build bridges of unity and understanding. Concordia cherishes the diversity as well as the teaching, research, service, and innovation that takes place within its walls. Join the celebration of stage today as the Chief of our Board of Governors, President and um, Vice Chancellor, Vice Presidents, Deans of Faculty, Registrar, Alumni Association representatives. Also with us today are Indigenous leaders, elders, boards of governors, our faculty, as well as many other special guests. We're all dressed formally in academic regalia to mark the importance of this ceremony. It's a tradition for all of us to wear them as a tribute to you, as a sign of respect for all that you've accomplished. The tradition of no convocation dates back almost 700 years. Academic scholars gathered at such convocations as this one today to welcome new scholars into their midst. Today, you walk in their footsteps. Beyond the long tradition that you see within today's ceremony, our convocation is not just about the past. It's about you, our graduates, and your future. It celebrates our, your accomplishments and earning your degree, diploma, or certificate, and it sends you forth as graduates equipped for whatever your future holds. And as our celebration begins, just a final note, um, this is my last celebration, this and this afternoon, as Chancellor, and I would like to recognize one individual who, throughout the term of uh, uh, Chancellor, has been incredibly important, and I think uh, one of the most important people at the university. It's not just our president and the chair of our board, it's Judy Cruzzi, who really does so much for our university. She's just a marvelous person, and someone we could not do without. Thank you. Thank you, Chancellor Mandel. I now invite to the podium Dr. John Atchison, Chair of our Board of Governors, to bring greetings. President Lorman, award recipients, distinguished guests, faculty, staff, family and friends of Concordia, and most important, you, the class of 2023. Welcome. On behalf of Concordia Board of Governors, it is my distinct pleasure to welcome each and every one of you to our 36th University Convocation in the 102nd year of Concordia as a post-secondary institution in Alberta. To the graduates, we offer our heartfelt congratulations. This is indeed a special day in your lives, and we applaud your achievements. We also wish to acknowledge the support and encouragement of family and friends, as well as Concordia's faculty and staff, all of whom have helped make your success possible. For 102 years, Concordia has been offering an exceptional educational experience. Our mission at Concordia seeks to prepare students to be independent thinkers, ethical leaders, and citizens for the common good. I hope that you have found your time at Concordia enriching, rewarding, and fulfilling. Your presence at Concordia has enriched this institution for generations of students who will follow. We commit to the continued excellence and integrity of the university that builds outstanding citizens that will transfer our community, our province, our country, and the world. We believe that you, as Concordia graduates, have been well equipped to successfully serve and lead in your chosen vocations. We are justifiably proud of you and wish you success in all of your future endeavors. And today, on behalf of the entire community, I want to thank Chancellor Stephen Mandel for his leadership, wisdom, and guidance. In addition, 
His contributions have helped fund crucial initiatives that have enhanced the student experience and positioned the university as a leader in higher education. Thank you, Chancellor Mandel, and thank all of you. Thank you. Thank you. And now, President Lorman will address the graduates. Our graduates, Chancellor Stephen Mandel, Board Chair John Atchison, distinguished guests, proud families, faculty, managers and administrators, staff and volunteers, a special shout out to the volunteers, the people who helped get us dressed and helped get us organized to be here. Welcome everyone and thank all of you for being here today. Today is the day that we look forward to all year. The focus is on you, our students. It is your day. It's a time when we unite in celebration to one of the accomplishments of our newest graduates. So graduates, today is a day for us to express our joy at your achievements and to be excited about what lies ahead for you. I want to extend my personal congratulations to you for having completed your study with us. I really am proud of you. And the entire Concordia University of Edmonton community is proud of you. You remember this day for the rest of your lives. Make it a happy and joyous day. Spend it with your community, those who you love and those who have supported you throughout your journey. Community. And this is a word that we use a lot here at Concordia. As a small university, we pride ourselves on being a place where young people can make strong connections, where they can build a strong academic foundation, challenge ideas, and form their own conclusions. And as you go into your chosen career path, or want to more schooling, you'll find a new community to belong to. Now, belonging to a community has richly rewarding benefits. You have a group of like-minded folks to share ideas with. You have a group of friends to prop you up when you're feeling down. You feel not only included, but you have a place to belong. Once you've found your chosen community, there are also responsibilities that you must live up to. You become part of a team, and as such, you'll be asked to give of your time and to make an effort. As richly as you have received, you too will be asked to give. And this will not feel like a burden, but a wonderful responsibility. Now every year I try to give some advice to the graduating class. And this year I challenge you to consider what it means to be a community builder. What does it mean to be part of something bigger than yourself? How will you use your voice to influence others in a positive way? What kind of leadership do you want to define you? I want to share with you one of Aesop's fables. It starts with the wind and the sun, who are in an argument over who is stronger. They see a traveler coming down the road, and they decide to settle their argument by seeing which of the two can get the traveler to take his coat off. The wind goes first and blows as hard as it can, causing a harsh cold to envelop the traveler. The traveler responds by pulling his coat even tighter to protect him from the fury of the wind. The wind tries even harder to blow the coat off the traveler, but the traveler just clings to his coat all the more tighter. Next, it's the sun's turn. He rises gently in the sky and slowly brightens its rays creating a warm glow around the traveller. As the temperature rises, the traveller sheds his jacket, no longer needing his protection. There are, of course, many ways to interpret this fable, but most agree that the moral of the story is that gentle persuasion wins where force and bluster fail. And if I may add to that, I'd say that leading with empathy and kindness will be your key to success in the future. Graduates, as you enter your career, I hope you never forget the power of kindness. It costs nothing, but it can mean everything to the one who receives it. Our mission here at Concordia 
is to be a community of learning grounded in scholarship and academic freedom, preparing students to be independent thinkers, ethical leaders and citizens for the common good. As you complete your studies with us, go out into the world and go out into the world. We hope that the lessons that you've learned here will inspire you to be the kind of person who builds community wherever you go. You have excellent examples all around you, including our outgoing Chancellor, Dr. Stephen Mandel. He completes his term as Chancellor this year, and I want to express my sincerest gratitude to Stephen for his personal friendship, but also because he has made our university a better place to be over the past four years in his role. He is a demonstrated community builder and a dedicated public servant, having served as mayor of Edmonton for nine years and having served in provincial politics for four years after that. In addition to public office, together with his wife Lynn, he's offered his support for any number of worthwhile causes, including many events here at Concordia over the past four years. And let's not forget, some of those were pandemic years, which were especially challenging. Starting in July, we welcome Dr. Alan Heen into this role. In 2015, he and his wife Trish donated a generous sum to Concordia at University of Edmonton to renovate our theatre. To this day, it bears their name. But over and above donor support, Alan and Trish have shown true dedication and commitment through service to our university over decades. And we are thrilled to welcome Al Heen as Chancellor starting July 1. Graduates, follow the lead of these two people and use the tools, skills and academic foundation that you have gained here to create the community that you want to live in. Please accept my warmest congratulations and best wishes on your accomplishment. My hope for all our graduates is that the next stages of your lives will be positive, filled with love, accomplishment, happiness and contentment. Thank you. Thank you, President Lorman. We will now be conferring the degrees, diplomas, and certificates. Dr. Barbara Van Ingen, Vice President, Academic and Provost, will present the graduates. The name of each candidate will be read by our Registrar and Associate Vice President, Enrollment and Planning, Dr. Andreas Gulzo. All candidates will proceed on stage to be hooded by the Vice President, Academic and Provost, and the respective Dean of their faculty, and to pause for a professional photo. Degree recipients will continue across the stage to be congratulated by Chancellor Stephen Mandel and to pause for another professional photo. All graduates are to wear their caps as they cross the stage. We also ask that you and your guests stay until the end of today's ceremony. Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the faculties, it is my privilege to present these scholars. These candidates have fulfilled all requirements prescribed by the faculty and have been recommended as worthy of their respective degrees, certificates, and diplomas. Hello, there it is, bingo. By virtue of the authority given to me to the charter granted to Concordia University of Edmonton by the government of Alberta, I confer upon you the credentials to which you are entitled and invest you with all of the powers, rights, and privileges pertaining the degree, certificate, or diploma. Again, congratulations. The Master of Education in Educational Leadership, Mary Jean Andreasen. <laughs> J. 
Jessica Courtney Bellina. Danielle Claire Booker. Donna Lee Hayden. Sandy Garnett Johnson. Esther Joanna Adele Ormsby. <laughs> Kerry Lynn Williams. <laughs> Bachelor of Education, Banu Airi. Kieran James Bailey Healan. <laughs> Christina Marie Bilodeau. Kaylee Michelle Billock. <laughs> Kiora Alain Bova. Haley Lily Page Bowen. Brandon Reginald Gerald Bowen. Olivia Erin Boyington with distinction. <laughs> Alija Serena Brick with high distinction. Kellen Elizabeth Alexandra Briggs. <laughs> Madison Leah Alice Bocholz. Julia Marie Byrne. <laughs> Riley Marie Chirpin. <laughs> Mackenzie Brianna Chiarello.
Madison Marie Christensen. Kevin James Cook. Abigail Ann Dalton. Samantha Lina Marie Dargis with distinction. Rory James Davidson with distinction. Christopher Sidney DePeel. <laughs> Emma Delma Derbyshire, with distinction. Lindsay Nicole Dirksen. <laughs> Olivia Rachel Dick. Shayla Elizabeth Dodds. <laughs> Madison Alyssa Dubuc Marchand. <laughs> Erin Christine Dugan. Rebecca Marie de Rocher with distinction. <laughs> Jocelyn Anna Eliniak. Megan Joan Erlam. Sarah Isabel Feist. Rebecca Lea Franke. Carly Louise Gogovic with high distinction. <laughs> Alyssa Saba Hajar. Chloe Elizabeth Halvors. <laughs> 
Sarah Bess Harvey. Brooklyn Page Hagars. Brian Mark Nachu. Corey Jasmine Hooft. Cameron Michael Hurro. Bridget Louise Jessamy with high distinction. <laughs> Tegan Kamstrom. Saha Riaz Khan. Kristen Ashley Kilmano. Brittany Kennedy Kittlitz. <laughs> Ashley Elizabeth Kochmark. Nina Christine Kutzner Dudas with high distinction. <laughs> Alexandra Elsie Lucia Lam. Emily Victoria Long. Michaela Grace Lukey with distinction. Trina Lynn Ma with distinction. Grace Ann Martins.
Medina Lia Mastronadi. Julie Ann Magoy, with distinction. <laughs> Michaela Leona Moore. Rebecca Re Mudri. <laughs> Isabel Christina Ospina. Ross Tyler Outkirk. <laughs> Noah Gilbert Parmeter. Brianna Violet Pallet. <laughs> Natasha Spencer Peach. Madison Rose Plicious. <laughs> Jessica Ann Poirier. Sylvia Eva Posorek with distinction. <laughs> Elena Luisa Profiri. Michael William Querengesser with high distinction. Colton James Quinton. Christian Stephen Robichaud with high distinction. <laughs> Natasha Jennifer Adriana Rocker.
Madison Lee Sanders with distinction. Claudia Sofia Suarez Neves. <laughs> Helena Adela Style. Benjamin Eric Stonehocker. <laughs> Face Dana Svetchen. Kirsten Ellen Tabard with high distinction. <laughs> Stephanie Antoinette Tellier with high distinction. Emma Marie Thibault with distinction. <laughs> Kayla Marie Thorne. Tim Tong To with distinction. <laughs> Sheena Diane Tracy with distinction. Paige Lynn Van Horn with high distinction. <laughs> Marcella Helene Van der Mee. Drake Donald Ward. Amanda Michelle Wendland with distinction. Kira Brian White. <laughs> Master of Science in Information Technology. 
Aresina Tijezuni Adewale. Nabil Mansur Naim Bishay. Ruvil Kumar Pagnesh Kumar Doshi. Wilson Kosasi. Trisha Mansukbe Kotisha. Israel Osoimure Okosan. Namakuma Alaksmanbe Patel Pujan Kalpeshkuma Raval. Dip Tang Su Rei. Sindhya Sengoli Rash. Rakhav Kumar, Dipak Kumar, Taka. Ashita Yadav. The Graduate Diploma in Environmental Public Health Practice, Taniya Chama. <laughs> Hardeep Singh. Yashanpreet Kaur. Simranjot Singh. The Bachelor of Environmental Health, Basse Louise Abua with distinction.
Victor Adovi Aduayi. Emoefe Onyeka Diak Paromre with high distinction. Mansi Habam Godanya. Andrew Lau. <laughs> Jennifer Elaine Marcotte with high distinction. Dena Minimo with high distinction. Lorene Lindeby Nikwenya. Ikene Anulika Nwachuku. <laughs> Nuwaka Elizabeth Obu with high distinction. Brandon Alexander Ritchie with high distinction. Amrita Saini. Bachelor of Science for you, Jasim Mohammed Al Rufaye. <laughs> Mohammed Kamrul Hassan Anik. Vinamrata Arora. Aaron Jacob Bendery, with high distinction. Cameron Jamie Billado. <laughs> Sam 
Sarah Lynn Bird. Sukbir Singh Burring, with distinction. <laughs> Priscilla Essel Bonsu, with distinction. Harpreet Kaur Bra. Cameroon Christopher Bayer. Taylor Bailey Chamberlain, with distinction. Adam Kong Lim Chong. Cassandra Haley Cowan with distinction. <laughs> David Allen de Brouwer. Harleen Kaur Dadewal. <laughs> Spencer William Ellery. Justin Tyler Gage, with distinction. <laughs> Rachel Mary Graham. Andrew James Hesch. <laughs> Rowan Kirkland Hanf. Jasmine Hanifi. <laughs> Abiha Iftika.
Mary Ann Obano Ikan. Shivakshi Jha. Dikshia Kaki. Rutten Mahajan with distinction. <laughs> Kelly Sarah Ivy Mask. Emmanuel Miguel de Lenz Mboli. <laughs> Nicole Munquesa with high distinction. Isaiah Nathaniel Newham Gordon. <laughs> Sebedi Junior Odongo with distinction. Harmonic Core Panu with high distinction. <laughs> Manan Ashakuma Punjabi. Fevin Celestji. Karan Singh Sarai. Kira Sibidaskaya with high distinction. <laughs> Wyatt Dawson Turnbull. Anmol Kaur Willing. <laughs> Pat
Ashley Jade Wiesner. Ashit Kaur. In the Jot Kaur. Bachelor of Science three year, Mohammed Sadaf Imtiaz Alam. Jade Marie Austin. Maria Andrea Balmaceda Azur. Manvir Kor Bra. Brianna Stephanie Callender. Justin Marvin Tabilos de Guzman. Taja Gentian Etherington. <laughs> Chiara Tyree Diana Fuchs. Gurjeet Singh Gill. <laughs> David Cyril Harris. Amanpreet Kaur. <laughs> Sumanpreet Kaur Kosa.
Sakraj Singh Lit. Fatima Shakila Mohammed Sabur. Brayden Riley Robert Payunen. Sassindi Himara Palansuria Shubham Sain Pavan Priya Kaur Sandhu, with distinction. Aman Priya Kaur Sekon. Angel Charma Prince Deep Singh Sohi Jatinder Singh Somal. Isha Verma. Amnit Kaur. Gagandeep Singh. Gitanjali. Gokarandeep Singh.
Harvinder Kaur. Jaskaran Singh. Kiranjit Kaur. Manjot Kaur. Manpreet Kaur. Navdeep Kaur. Navpreet Kaur. Ravneet Kaur. Rija Vici. Shuprit Kaur. Suklin Kaur. Sukhpreet Singh. Tajinda Singh.
Graduates, please rise. I now ask the graduates to move the tassel on your cap to the left hand side to signify the change in your status from graduate to graduate. Family and friends, I present to you Concordia University of Edmonton's graduating class of 2023 for the Faculty of Education and Faculty of Science. I invite the graduates to remain standing as I invite James Manus and Donnelly Paul to come forward for the honor song.
You may be seated. And now we come to the presentation of some very significant awards, the Governor General Academic Medals. The gold medal is awarded to a graduate student and the silver medal is awarded to an undergraduate student. Rago Kumar Takar is the 2023 Governor General's Academic Gold Medal recipient. Rago is a graduate of the Master of Science in Information Technology program. Rago has worked in the software development industry for over eight years, and after earning a bachelor's degree in computer science, word of mouth about the excellent master's program at Q enticed him to apply. Rago is grateful that the MCIT program has given him the knowledge and experience necessary to excel in this field. Despite the unexpected disruption caused by the pandemic, Rago said he was impressed with the terrific learning environment for him while he studied machine learning from home in India. Rago says that his MCIT degree provided him with a competitive edge in the job market. Post-graduation, Rago is excited to say that he's already found full-time employment as a software developer in Edmonton and hopes to stay in the city where his family also resides. In the future, Rago said he hopes to work in the government sector as a solutions architect, designing and implementing technology solutions for government agencies. This year's Governor General's Academic Silver Medal recipient is Alicia Worthman, a graduate from Bachelor of Arts program with a concentration in psychology. Alicia felt that a background in psychology would be invaluable as she continues to pursue her career goal of becoming an elementary school teacher. The knowledge that she has gained allows her to cultivate the well-being of a diverse student body. Alicia was drawn to the small class sizes at Q and having a personalized education experience. She was able to form meaningful connection with peers and faculty at the university and believes they will have a lasting impact on her life. Alicia is excited to continue her academic journey here at Q and will be returning in the fall for a Bachelor of Education after degree. I invite Chancellor Mandel to present the Governor General Gold Medal. The Silver Medal will be presented at this afternoon's Convocation Ceremony. The Governor General's Medal, established in 1873, is one of the most prestigious awards that can be received by a student in a Canadian educational institution for exceptional academic achievement. It recognizes students who have achieved the highest academic average. On behalf of, of Her Excellency, the Right Honorable Mary Simon, Governor General of Canada, I am pleased to present the Governor General's Medal oh, wrong. to to you, I'm sorry. <laughs> Got me the wrong book here. Or I'm in the wrong book here. Anyway, yeah. miff but buff, yeah. congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations to Rago Kumar and Alicia. And now we come to the announcement of the Student of the Year Award. The Student of the Year Award is presented to an undergraduate student who demonstrates, demonstrates leadership in an extracurricular campus activities. The recipient demonstrates integrity, respect, and a servant's heart in their interactions with fellow students, faculty, and staff. The recipient has also made significant positive impact on student life throughout their entire career at Concordia. 
the very deserving recipient for the 2022-2023 academic year is Kasai Murad. Kasai is graduating today with a Bachelor of Management degree. He has made a significant impact on the student body through his involvement in peer coaching, advocating for American Sign Language ex extracurricular course on campus, serving as the management rep on the CSA General Council, VP of Operations and President of the Concordia Management Union and co-founder of the Self-Defense Club. In the words of his referees, Kasai has definitely helped in creating friendships, camaraderie, and a community for many Q students. And I highly endorse Kasai for his leadership and passion in everything he does. Kasai will be presented with his award at the second convocation ceremony. Please join me in congratulating Kasai. And now I would like to invite Christian Podolicki to bring greetings from the Alumni Association. Good afternoon, Chancellor Mandel, President Lorman, Dr. Atchison, award recipients, distinguished guests, faculty, staff, uh, family, and friends of Concordia, and most importantly, the graduates of 2023. My name is Christian Podolicki, and it is my honor to bring greetings from the Concordia Alumni Association. Today, you become the 36th graduating class of this university. All those who have preceded you have demonstrated the immense value, honor, and responsibility that come with earning a degree from Concordia. It is my hope that during your time here, you built lifelong friendships, created memories, discovered your talent, and found your passion. Today is the day we celebrate your hard work, efforts, and accomplishments. It is the beginning of your bright future. Although your time as students has come to an end, it is the beginning of an exciting new phase in your relationship with the university as alumni. You now join a diverse community of individuals who are connected by a common thread, an institution that has prepared you to become independent thinkers and positive contributors to society. There are many adventures that await you after today. Life is full of paths, some expected, while others a joyful surprise. No matter where life takes you, remember this moment and your accomplishments. Stay true to yourself, follow your heart, and chase your dreams. Concordia University of Edmonton is proud of its alumni, and in turn, the alumni are proud of their university. Celebrate your accomplishments and enjoy this day. Be proud of what you have achieved, for from this day forward, you will be official members of Concordia Alumni Association. Graduates, we invite you to connect with the members of the Alumni Association at the reception and encourage you to find ways to remain involved with Concordia and give back to this great institution. Concordia's alumni are proud of our, of our alma mater and are happy to connect with those who share the unique experience of graduating and attending Concordia. I wish each of you congratulations and best wishes in all your future endeavors. Thank you, Christian, for your greetings from the Alumni Association. I now invite you to rise and join in the singing of the alma mater led by our students from Concordia.
Please be seated. I have a few announcements before we conclude our ceremony. Before we begin our recessional, I remind all recessional participants to please proceed directly to the reception in Hall G, as guided by the ushers. We look forward to meeting all of you at the reception to follow, where you are invited to meet the graduates, faculty, and special guests. And now, I invite our chancellor to conclude this 36th convocation of Concordia University of Edmonton for the Faculty of Education and Faculty of Science. Today has been a very special day. We have celebrated with you the graduating class of 2023. And as they've passed through the stage, I've had an opportunity to talk to some of them, or I should say all of them, and it's quite um, exciting to see the opportunities that lay in front of them. An amazing group of people who are going to make our city, our province, and our country and the world a much better place to live. A few final words of congratulations to our graduates. All of us on the stage understand how hard you've worked to get here today. We commend you and your achievements and the determination that brought you to this day. We encourage you to keep learning and keep challenging yourselves. We invite you to seek opportunities that bring you joy and fulfillment and find ways to give back to your community. Graduates, the world is open to you as leaders. Your hopes and dreams will be the foundation of our future. Your desire to be faithful in whatever you do, and your willingness to serve others will give, you, give your life both purpose and meaning. And finally, I'd like to thank the graduates. Thank you for choosing Concordia to be your university. Thank you for joining our Concordia community. We're proud of each and every one of you. May your dreams that take you far, but may you always remain close to your alma mater, Concordia University of Edmonton. Again, congratulations to all of you, and may your life be one of great joy and fulfillment. Thank you. Thank you, Chancellor Mandel. We invite everyone to stand and remain standing until all in the recessional have left.